Well, hello there, it's Ina here and welcome to my art room. So today I want to work with a small, rather simple picture frame. I will, of course, take out the back and the glass. And as you can see here, I pulled out a box of die cuts. These are all made out of wood or MDF board. Now, most of these were given to me as gifts. This one is a leftover from a piece I used in one of my recent projects. And it's an odd combination of all kinds of designs. And I want to use them in a little bit of an unconventional way. I may cut some of them apart and use them more for the texture than for the actual design. Now, for the most part, in my art, I prefer to use odds and ends I recycle uh, rather than ready-made to craft embellishments or articles. But this little stash in itself gives me the challenge to use individual pieces, maybe in the way that they were not intended for. Now, I had a super busy week, so I was looking for a project that would not take up too much of my time, and this seemed to fit the bill. I didn't do much planning, but I just started uh, playing with it. I did know that I wanted to stick with these die cuts which are lightweight and I can glue everything down with my tacky glue so I was not going to go into my metal stash. I also knew that I wanted to use white gesso instead of my more obligatory black gesso. Like so often with my projects, this one too will need a lot of gluing and it's all pretty self-explanatory. So I will turn you over to some music. Anything you need to know will be in the captions, but I will talk to you if there's anything I need to explain. So please enjoy the process.
So Abby was a great helper and enjoyed her time. She even helped me clean up and then it was time for her to take her nap. Now at this point I should have given you a better close-up. Sorry about that. But I do hope that you noticed all the details. I did cut apart the witch and there was a whale and a turtle. I used the hearts upside down or cut in half. The same for the flowers and leaves and so on. Anyway, here it is all covered in white gesso and ready for another coat. This time just simple acrylic paint. Now I do love the shade of green but for this project it was a bit dark. I should have started with something much lighter but I will remedy that later on. For now I will use some of my matte and my glossy uh, waxes from Prima and uh, they give me a nice dimensional effect and you can remove the excess until it is dry then it is permanent. So next I again use acrylic paints in different shades just to brighten things up a bit and bring some more interest into this project.
So after way too many layers of paints and waxes, I finally came to a look which I liked and to finish it up, I am adding just some micro beads and some fluorescent beads into these three tiny glass bottles. They get a little uh, color rope wrapped around them and then they go in here uh, like they're standing on a little shelf. And this will complete the look of this little project. I hope you enjoyed coming today and seeing me put this together. As I said in the beginning, it is more of a simple project and yet it got a little bit more involved than I had planned because as I told you earlier, the green color was not the best choice to start with. Anyway, it was fun to work on white gesso for a change and it is usually more challenging than working with the black but of course the result is quite different. Now even though I arrived at this point quite by trial and error, I was pleased to see that the middle coat with the white gesso really worked. I'm also glad that I made a little dent into my stash of die cuts and I hope that the way I used them gave you some new ideas. I see you soon again. Stay safe and creative. Bye bye for now.